What's up, everybody? Uh, finally back from the Utah trip, uh, just looking over footage for this last episode. And I just want to kind of go over some of the do's and don'ts of camping and the importance of ND filters for landscapes and cinematography. So enjoy this. <laughs> like in, dirt. Indiana dirt. What is up, everybody? Quick video here while we're in Moab. Three things that will make your experience at Moab that much better. Uh, first one, camping bag. You can put your camera, your food supplies, your water supplies, just about everything you can imagine in a camping bag and you won't be having to run back to the car because you're dehydrated, because you're hungry, or because you forgot that little camera that you brought along to document your experience. Second thing, water. Water, 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 water. There's a lot of water supplies here that you can refill for free. Uh, however, you definitely want a decent supply. I didn't bring a big one and I deeply regret that now so I just want to make sure you guys uh, come well equipped when you do come to Moab um, because it's it's elevated terrain um, you're gonna be hiking a lot and you're gonna be thirsty a lot and I found myself just drinking water constantly the entire day and the third thing is bring a decent camera my iPhone does justice sometimes uh, if the lighting conditions are just right however having um, you know, like an entry level camera or something of the sort that does photo and video um, just makes the experience that much better because you can get all those things that your camera just cannot handle. And you definitely want to look back to, to a lot of these just amazing views um, that honestly I've, I personally have never seen until I've gotten here. And I've traveled to quite a few different um, states in the United States. So, quick recap the three things that you absolutely need to have when you get here. Camping bag for all your supplies, water because you're human and you need water, and three, a decent camera. Decent camera is going to help out so much. I have the A6300 and I'll catch you on the next one. Why you dig NDs so much? Because gear. Now, uh, NDs, neutral density, in other words, neutral density filters are important because it allows you to use a longer shutter speed in conditions where you might have a lot more light. So you can obviously bump your aperture up to a higher level and that'll reduce the amount of light coming into the lens, uh, but an ND is almost like tinting it so you can go even further with that shutter speed, hence the tripod. And how are you using it on these particular shots here? So these particular shots, we get the wide angle. I'm not shooting super wide. I'm probably in the 24 to 40 range on most of these shots. But uh, what it allows me to do is bump my aperture up to you know, between 13 and 18 and still get a couple second exposures even though it's bright daylight out. Um, so that's, that's how I'm using it. And ideally, if it's a long enough exposure, you can see some of the motion in the clouds or if you're shooting around water, which... I don't know where that is here, but uh, if you're shooting around water or clouds, you can get the motion in that uh, from those long exposures. Why would you recommend people to buy NDs? Uh, ND is great if you're doing landscape. Uh, there are other uses as well. Like for example, if you do portraits and you're in the middle of the day and you want to shoot a lower aperture, you can do that as well. And that'll also block some of that light. So there's a few different uses for them. Um, but it, you know, you can pick them up relatively expensive and they don't take a lot of room in your bag. And it's one of those things that can help you take your game to the next level. 